almost all Hungarians have their own story about Lake Balaton. It's our national treasure, and we are really proud of it. When I come down to this lake, I'm always amazed at its size, color, and beauty. And I know under its surface live thousands of magnificent gods. And now, here we are. So let's start this adventure. So here we go, it's our first fish, 12 kilo, it's a lovely welcome I think and hopefully the big mama is still coming, we're here for two weeks so why not, awesome, very nice one, do you like it Eddie? Okay, we like it. So here is this lovely fella, my very first carp on this session. It's time to put it back. Swim back to your friends. Yeah. Oh. So hi guys, finally we're here at Lake Balaton. I'm saying finally because uh, two years ago when Steve was at yeah. Paradise Lake, we... Uh, first of all, hello, welcome you. <laughs> <Hello>. <laughs> but yeah, so back to the topic. So two years ago when you were here at Paradise Lake um, and we were fishing, then we were kind of talking about uh, Lake Balaton. And then you said that it would be lovely to, to, to try it one day. So yeah. the planning of this trip really goes back kind of one and a half, two years. Long time. Well, it's always been a dream of mine to, to fish here anyway. You know, 15 years ago, I came to Hungary and I drove past this lake and I thought one day I must fish here. And, and thankfully, uh, you know, you was able to organize it and here we are. So, you know, thank you very much for that. Uh, You're welcome. And it's lovely to be here, lovely. Yeah, we, we just arrived basically, yeah, what was that? Two days ago, so we did start fishing, and we already uh, caught some some nice carp. Uh, we had uh, yeah the wedding the first first night. How was that experience for you? Well, one thing you said to me when we arrived: it, every day is different. The weather changes constantly, and we saw that straight away with with the big winds. I couldn't believe it. Uh, we came out in the evening; it was flat calm. I came out for a run in the night, and it was like the sea. <laughs> big waves and strong winds and yeah it's um, I guess it's all part of the Balaton experience yeah it, it can happen many times that uh, you are actually not allowed to bring uh, your rig uh, or get in boat actually uh, when the second level storm level is on and it can happen that you you for for a day or two you just on your platform and 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 cannot get out there where where you really fed your place uh, so it's part of the trip that that you have to take the risk. Well, it's it's actually one of the fascinating things about fishing here. I think is is the changing conditions, and uh, the fact that sometimes you're not allowed out. You know, you get uh, three levels: green, yellow, and red on on the app, which I've downloaded, yeah. which is fantastic. So, you know, green, you can go out. Yellow, you have to be careful. Red you're not allowed out so it's it's been fascinating because i've never saw that before anywhere else 
Mm. So, you know, it's it's a new thing for me and, and yeah, very interesting. And you have three sectors divided in three parts, uh, like Balaton is. Um, and uh, we have the east, middle and west section. And as we experienced it right on, the, on, on our first day, it happened that in the east section it was red. And yeah. right next to it, the next sector, it was green. That amazed me, the fact that you can have conditions like this in one section and in another area they could be having a storm and not allowed out and yeah it's this amazing place it really is an amazing place actually it shows how big this lake is really that yeah it's huge <laughs> and it is yeah. it's a big place yeah so yeah definitely in the in this video we we're going to show you the tricks uh what we used here beautiful fish i'm pretty sure and and yes we're having almost two weeks uh, in front of us so we're gonna have an awesome time i believe yeah for me it's just an experience to be here you know the the fish are a bonus but it's the exper balaton experience i've come for yeah it will be great so stay tuned So now I would like to say a couple of words about the rig what I'm using here at uh, Lake Balaton. Uh, now I'm going to make one and show you which one was very effective uh, for me during this session. Okay? So first I use armoring for it and the fang twister hook in size 2. And the boiler which was working very well was Copex Squid. So I'm gonna use two 24 mil boilies. And the thing what could be actually a bit strange for some anglers uh, that I'm not just using two big boilies like two 24 mil ones, but I also leave a quite long hair. So the distance between the boilie and the hook, it's. Uh, as you can see, quite big, so it's a bit unusual, but it's, uh, I think, necessary here at Lake Balaton. You cannot really select, unfortunately, uh, but at least you maybe won't get the, the really, really small carp with, 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 with this version. So I have talked already uh, about how I tie a rig and what I'm using, but uh, now let's check what, what Steve has and what he's using uh, on this session. Well, I, I came with different ideas. One was that I heard there's a lot of small fish and it's difficult to get through to the bigger ones. And so on one I'm trying a really big boilie, because it has worked in the past to help sort out some of the bigger fish. So it's, it's a big boilie, about 40 mil in size with a size 2 hook so it's a big rig but maybe it'll help um, otherwise I'm going to go with a, a basic double bottom bait rig two 24 mils and again a size 2 hook a big hook uh, and a slightly longer hook length because um, I've also heard that longer hook lengths are a little bit better here you know because of the silt some I mean right in front of us it's not that bad I think it's yeah. it's not that deep the silt but there are parts like Balaton where I like you have like half a meter one meter and if you imagine you have a, using a heavy lead because you're fishing far out so we're talking about 200 gram lead for instance yeah and yeah. if you place that that can really go deep into the silt which means it will pull in the rig too yeah so to help the, the carp to find it if using the longer one in those circumstances uh, it will be closer to the, to the, to the Bottom. I think, as always, I've got some ideas of, of my own to use, but it's always important to listen to people who have experience of the lake because it's so important. And you know, I've already learned some valuable things in the first day or two from you, so mm -hmm. 
hopefully it will you know, work to good effect and get some good fish. Well, it was very interesting because now we can say we've been fishing here for, for a couple of days and we have tried all these things, the, the massive bowl, uh, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the double one. I showed in mine how I let even the hair longer. Uh, yes. So that version again, yeah. so it's, the fish we have to suck it in very strong to, to get to, to the hook. Yeah. And um, yeah, what was the smallest you get with this giant? <laughs> <laughs> well it was quite interesting really that when this one went off I thought it was going to be the big one of course and it wasn't it was the small one <laughs> it was yeah. a, it was about uh, four kilo five kilo yeah. so that's um, amazing that uh, yeah yeah and it was properly hooked in the mouth so it, yeah it was it was, it was properly hooked and everything so yeah it, it's but it is surprising that um, you know they will try and eat these massive baits um, yeah so it, it didn't work as planned, put it that way. Yeah, I, we kind of feel now uh, that uh, we can have this lot of theories, everything, but really select, we, we cannot really, it's a matter of luck a little bit that uh, if you get the big fish, uh, because as the sample so, uh, shows that, um, you know, you can catch a small one with this giant. It does, bird. from what I've seen so far, yeah, it depends on the groups of fish that are coming and going you know exactly. if you have a group of big fish come in then whatever rig you're using you're going to catch the bigger fish but if you're getting smaller fish don't matter what rig you use even this yeah. one you know you, you get the small fish as well so yeah it's a little bit down to well, I think we can we can maybe point out that to use any uh, choddy rig tiny little hook bait insta rig it wouldn't make any sense here maybe um, what, yeah. what, what do you think about it? No, I, I agree entirely. Right. You know, it, it's, it's not a, a place where you're going to get more action or, or bigger fish uh, by changing the rig about too much. You know, it's, it's more about fishing effectively with strong tackle uh, and then hoping that the right fish come through at the mm, right time. Exactly. Uh, that's what I've seen so far. You know, but I'm not the expert here, so um, I'm no, only but guessing you, you, at the I moment. Think you, you but get it right. I mean, like you know, you 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 keep learning, even if you fish here for for many years. It's yeah. as we have seen the conditions, uh, the weather conditions, as they yeah. change, how fast they change, day to day, hour by hour. That amazing. Uh, really so to all follow this, it's it's just uh, impossible. So you can keep learning here for many years, and yeah. It's, uh, and the other thing is that uh, you know at many lakes which are small and uh, heavily fished, you have that one fish as many times uh, on the hook in a session. I mean, um, in the year, for instance. Yeah. Uh, here, uh, I think the majority of the fish uh, hasn't seen the hook yet, so yeah. you don't have to worry about them, that. They're so careful about it because they just got used to it, just like feed heavily, and uh, that could yeah. be other reason why even the small one is, is getting so. True, yeah, to them Part it's just the, food. They, they haven't food. really got a sense of danger so much. Not really, though, yeah, I think it's... expense. And, and, and it, this kind of catch and release thing, it's like a uh, 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 kind of new thing here at Lake Balaton, so it goes right, back for a couple okay. of years just. Um, that means that those fish who are in the kind of survivors, because in the past whoever caught a fish, caught it for food, took it home, so that's another reason why they haven't been on hook uh, yet. Yeah, so that sort of explains it as well, you know, I mean, you think, well, maybe some of these fish have been caught before, but, yeah, it's only really just started the catch and release here, so, um, yeah, for sure, when you catch a fish, it's the first time yeah, it was ever caught. Probably the first one, yeah. Wow, which is really nice, you know, that's one of the nice things. It makes nice it more special. It, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it makes it feel special, yeah. So, let's see what we will get with these fish. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we can only try, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Good. So um, that was the bit when when Steve shared with us a little bit what what he's using, what his tactics are. But uh, yeah, really no rules. <laughs> I think. <laughs> So there are several things uh, what you must have in your boat if you're using a boat. Uh, these are mandatory. Uh, very important to have a life jacket. 
uh, you know, it's, it's really for your own safety as well, but you have to have it. Uh, you should have uh, a lamp in the boat, so if you're in the dark and you get in trouble, then, then you should have, uh, should have this. Uh, something to get the water out, because when you have, again, big waves, then everything you might, uh, you know, your engine brakes or something and you're stuck out there, uh, it's important to, to, to get the water out. Um, again, for the same reason, if your engine breaks and you're stuck in the middle of the, the, the lake or uh, uh, far from the coast, to have an anchor. My anchor is rather special, but heavy enough to keep the boat in one place and also at least have 10 meter rope on it. So these are the mandatory things. Oh, and one more, uh, to have uh, pedals. I have a pair of pedals as well. Uh, again, uh, if your engine is not working, uh, you can uh, pedal out or at least uh, move and uh, it's not mandatory but it's advisable to have a good strong uh, engine uh, which is um, yeah strong enough to, to move you in, in windy and, and with stormy conditions and the boat what I would advise to have at least a three meter long boat uh, that's important the small ones could be a bit shaky uh, you know, in, in, in when it's very wavy uh, out there. Uh, if it's bigger, like a four meter one, it's better. Uh, you will be more comfortable in it. Uh, but these uh, three meter, this is actually 3.1. Uh, it's, I think, perfect and enough. Big one, but he's a Balaton carp, so they're all special. Yeah. The next one might be ten times the size of this, you never know. We live and hope. <laughs> but he's lovely. Thank you very much, Mr. Carp. Great, love it here. Look at this lovely mirror. It's very nice to catch. Really strong one as well. And you know, eventually now, conditions are also perfect for anglers. It's very nice, calm, sunny, really a beautiful day. And then such a fish comes along. It really made my day. Lovely mirror carp. They're definitely much more common here in Lake Balaton, so it's a real pleasure to catch a nice mirror.
Well, this is one of the things I don't understand, actually. I was just thinking it would be perfect to go out and do a rod now. You know, it's absolutely flat calm. Mm. Looks lovely out there. And I looked at the app, and it says red zone. Not That's allowed correct. to go out on the water. Do you want to explain why? Because it, it baffles me. Well, yeah, if you if, if you look over there, it, the, the light is actually flashing. That's, that's, yeah. that's You can see in more parts as well that uh, the second level is on. The thing is, as the system works, it really would like to show in advance that the storm is coming. So whoever is on the water does have time to get out. It's not flashing it you know uh, so fast when oh, this one's okay. actually here yeah. because then you're kind of panicking and if we look over there we can see already clouds building up and of course we don't know what it will bring but I heard it in the news that around Budapest it's already heavy rain uh, and stormy right. okay. so maybe this okay. one is shifting towards us and the white out really calm very nice but it could happen then in half an hour later uh, we have a storm and uh, you know if they would just show it much later it can happen that you really do not have the time to, to, to come, come, come okay, out. Yeah. That, that's the reason for but it's weird because <laughs> everybody would say why it's perfect let's go yeah, out Yeah, that was that. what I thought and that's what I thought I'd ask but it makes sense what you're saying because you could be a long way out just rowing three, exactly. four hundred meters. I mean, not everyone has like an electric engine or something. You, you might just rowing yeah. and that really takes time to, to come back to the coast. And they want to make sure everyone's off before the storm arrives, even yeah. though it looks perfect now and I yeah. could get my rod out. But and it, it also, yeah. of course, happens it, it will avoid us, you know, but just yeah. stay on the safe side and then that's what they do. I suppose so, yeah. Lives are more important than fishing. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, okay, some people will argue. <laughs> argue. Yeah. No, but yeah, it, I understand. Okay, I'll stay here. Okay, so that was the reason for that. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, thanks for explaining it. it was, yeah, it, it sure. was puzzling. But I know many people who, who come here um, in their country or other lakes, this is a really unusual kind of thing. Well, this Very system. unusual, yes. Yeah, so it's, first it's time. hard to understand and. Uh, you know, uh, expect expect this, then then you shouldn't go on the water in these conditions. Yeah. But that's how the rules are here. I suppose. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? What was it? Ten minutes we really talked. Ready to have a big glass of men. Yeah. yeah. And now I uh, understand what it's all about. Yeah, because literally we sat here and it was flat car, and I thought, why can't we go on the boat? Now you see why. Yeah, a few yeah. minutes and this is how it is. And this is just, you know, we go to the water and 15 minutes later and it's still good after getting started. Oh, it's only just beginning, it's only yeah. just arriving. Exactly. Yeah. Already it's only just arriving. It's already done, you're saying. Yeah, it's been 15 minutes and it's going to go out and out. Okay, <laughs> point taken. Point taken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. Lake Balaton. about midnight I actually just want to sleep and uh, yeah I got a bite very slow one but uh, it's a fish for sure we had like a second level of storm warning uh, about a couple of hours ago so that's why I'm rather do it from the coast However, now it's on the first level, so if we really have to, uh, we can go above the fish. But uh, first I try this, if it's not working, I will jump in the boat. Quite weedy in front of us, but as I'm pulling it slowly, I think... Oh. That's a great weed. That's a great weed. <laughs> I don't know when I lost the fish, actually, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's what I got. Next time, I believe. <laughs> well, I had this lost fish, and uh, now I take back the tackle. We do 300 meters, of course, uh, and hope another one is coming. 
we don't know how big it was because uh, I felt felt it a little bit and then um, you know um, I collected a lot of weed uh, which also was heavy so why I was collecting the weed I think uh, that was the point when I lost the fish but I ended up a bunch of weed so next time I hope I have more luck <laughs> so let's put down the rig somewhere here great because the silt is not so thick so I just lift it up a little bit and let's hit the coast again Well, I couldn't get uh, over this car by boat uh, because of the second storm level is on, so I had to play it from the platform. Uh, but I managed it and I caught the beautiful long shaped uh, common from Lake Balaton. Here it is. There you go. Check this out. Well, imagine when this one grows like, I don't know, 20 kilo it will be. What a fighting machine with this long shape. Yeah. Lovely car. Yeah, in the middle of the night. Balaton is, is an amazing place, I'm, I'm over the moon to be here, but I don't actually know much about the place. Um, I know you know a lot more than me, could you like, explain a few things about the lake? Well, there's so many things I can talk about, but you know, just maybe a couple of highlights, because then I can go on forever. <laughs> uh, first of all, the, the, the size, I think it's impressive, because it's Central Europe's biggest lake, and yeah. it's 600 square kilometer water service we're talking about. So it's 600, 600 square kilometer. Exactly. Wow. Um, if you go around Lake Balaton, it's uh, around 235 kilometer. So just get okay. around it. Yeah. It also shows how big it is. Wow. In average yeah. depth, I would say it's uh, 3, 3.5 meter. The deepest point is like 12 okay. uh, meter, but this is just around Tihon, where the ferry goes. Yeah. Uh, interesting that uh, Balaton has a special car species, which uh, it's a kind of common, but uh, a bit longer one. Not a typical very long one, but like it's, it's halfway. So just some unique to Balaton. It's unique in Balaton, exactly. So this is the, we have in Hungary actually 26. Uh, different uh, car species and then this yeah. is actually one of them and it has quite the genetics it could, could go actually yearly two three kilo oh, which wow. is very good and uh, very important that Balaton is really really full of car food and what they love yeah. the mussels tons of them really unlimited wow. food for them so it's they, they they can eat that's why they, you see that the Balaton calf has usually a very strong mouth because of okay. the muscles as if yeah. they you know get hurt all the time while they're eating. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, so yes, it's it's interesting. We have to really attract them with our food because they don't really need it. To be honest <laughs> with you, <laughs> but there's monsters out there somewhere. Oh, uh, definitely. I mean, like you know, the many uh, urban legends going on that maybe the world record <laughs> yeah. lives actually in this uh, oh, this lake. I, uh, well. I don't know because it's always changing the the, the present record. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I know that there are people in souls here over 30 kilo no question but most of them you know they don't even talk about it or yeah. in the old days they, they caught a big one but they they, they had the fish yeah. so they didn't put it yeah. back catch and release is kind of a uh, new thing here so now it's, it's, it's great to have this but we have different kind of um uh, licenses for balatons so you have this catch and yeah. release but you still have the other one where you can take home oh so it's fish. still legal to yeah Actually, it's in both ways, and oh, okay. I think the majority of the people still doing that, these kind of old school uh, well, type of... that's tradition. You yeah, know. that's tradition. Yeah. And, and we, as the Hungarian, we don't have a sea. Uh, we got used to our fish soup. It's actually very famous and tasty. And uh, yeah. it's made of either of catfish or carp. So ah. it's 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 uh, very obvious for Hungarian people to actually eat carp. It's, um, yeah, yeah. well it stands to reason, like you say, it's a landlocked country, you have no coast. Exactly, so, so that's, that's yeah, where it's uh, yeah. coming from. So maybe this could become an interesting fact. That, that's lake. really interesting. Yeah, I've, I've learned some more about the lake today. So yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>
fighting machine. I'm very pleased, I have to say. So yes, I think that was it. The two weeks went by really quickly, I would say. And uh, we finished our lovely Balaton session. It was your very first time for you, Steve, fishing at Lake Balaton. Um, how was it in a couple of words? It, it was everything I hoped it would be, really. You know, I've been looking forward to this trip for a long time. And I had a picture in my head what I hoped it would be like. And it was that and more. It was it was brilliant, fantastic. Absolutely loved it here. Uh, what was your let's say favorite bit bit? What you like in most in Lake Balaton now after two weeks? That's anything that you can pick? Uh, yeah, funny enough, it's probably not what people would expect. What I loved most was being out in the boat in the wind and the waves, uh, and that's what I was looking forward to, the experience of the big water, the weather, the conditions. And yeah, catching fish was fantastic obviously but I remember just every time I was out in the boat hmm. and going on the waves I thought yeah this is great and it was it's fantastic yeah it really feels like a big water kind of fishing then yeah all kind of conditions storms and everything and you have to fight the nature and catch carp so it's not just really just sitting chilling it's uh, you have to work for it kind of I would say yeah it's, I mean it is hard work isn't it you know conditions make it tough um, but when it went flat calm it Almost, it wasn't quite the same, you know, yes. the conditions make it what, what it is very special. Yeah, I think you're right. And I think we haven't, we lost count, but in these two weeks we caught more than 200 carp between us, I think. Loads, we had yeah. very intensive days, of course, some slow days as well. And carps in all kinds of uh, sizes, shapes, colors, mirrors, yeah. commons, uh, yeah, a great variety, I believe. Yeah, we, we, we had all like leathers as well, I had a couple of leathers, um, but all lovely fish as well, that was what was striking, maybe never caught before, but, and a lot of them certainly looked like it, they were absolutely stunning fish. And the good thing is when you're fishing here is that you're so strong because the big water, yeah. there's a lot of oxygen in it because of the wind and everything, yeah. it makes them so healthy and strong that it's, even with the, with the 7-8 kilo one, it could be a quite good quiet. Well, the amount of times we both did it, you know, we hooked into a fish at long range and we thought, oh, this is the yes, one. Yes, exactly. And, it, you know, it was another quite small one, but the strength was unbelievable. And it was great. Every one was a great fight. So it really doesn't matter how big you catch, you have a good time with, 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 with drilling the carp. Yeah, and it, it was never about trying to catch uh, monster fish. They're here, obviously. You know, I know yeah. they're here. Um, it was about the experience, and, and that's exactly what it was, a great experience. Good. I, I love it that uh, you had a good time here. Uh, maybe one day you will revisit Lake Balaton, who knows? For sure, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so if uh, you guys, uh, if you would like to also come here and fish at Lake Balaton, then you can just simply uh, contact us, Ketchka Hungary. Uh, we have other uh, lovely private lakes uh, with very big carp. So if you not uh, want to come fish a big lake like this, but a smaller one, for all kind of fishing uh, styles, really, for hardcore carp anglers, for family holidays, uh, whatever. This place is perfect for families, I think. For in the summertime, you can, you know, uh, jump in the water, swim. It's very clear. Uh, you have all luxury what you need. Um, so, really, we have uh, various uh, uh, opportunities for you if you would like to come to Hungary to fish. Just simply go on our website, which is www.cashcarphungary.com. For the freshest news, follow us on our uh, Facebook side, Instagram side, Twitter side, Google Plus side, so many social media. We're all there. You have, of course, our YouTube channel. So, yes, and uh, just contact us if you want to come to Hungary. Until that, tight lines. <laughs>